All right, so this one is the Brother Javi R3, 2207, 2550 KV. Uh, this was uh, sent in by Brother Javi for testing. So thanks, Brother Javi, for sending all these motors for testing so I can share uh, the results of the test and overview of the motors uh, with you guys. So thanks, Brother Javi. This one uh, is following on the new style of uh, naked bottom. As you can see, they've gotten rid of all the weight here on the base. So that's pretty good. Uh, these motors are the way all new motors are coming out now. So uh, in order to maintain the weight low. So this one is, I guess, being the R3, this is on the lower end of the category for Brother Hobby. As you know, they had the R3, R4, R5, and the other series are the T1 and T2. So R3, I would imagine this is the uh, on the lower end, kind of like mid-budget uh, type of motor. But uh, don't let that fool you. Uh, this motor is uh, pretty much uh, full of all the latest features, and uh, I'm sure it's gonna perform pretty well. Just sometimes you can just look at a motor and kind of almost guess that it's gonna if it's gonna be good or not. Uh, for the most part, you can see the magnets are curved. Uh, I'll show them later on when I take it out, and you can also see pretty tight uh, air gap between the magnets and the stator. I guess this being an R3, they're keeping the 3mm shaft. Most of the motors have 4mm shaft. You have to go to the R4 or the T1 and T2 motors or the, T the new T3s. So 3mm shaft on this one. Not the bad thing. I mean, if the shaft has been heat treated properly, it'll be strong enough. Uh, so no worries there. Uh, this one has a pretty good length of wire. These are 100 and... 160 uh, millimeters worth of wire, so that's that's pretty good. It's plenty to reach any center-mounted ESCs. Uh, so Brother Hobby's always been quite uh, uh, kind with the wire they give you. So let's see what it weighs with 160 millimeters uh, of wire. Uh, so that says 33 grams. Uh, pretty long wire so so if we cut it to 50 which is I always get the equivalent weight and by weighing uh, the amount of wire that would have to be removed to make these uh, 50 millimeters so that's 330 millimeters of wire and that's 2.7 2.7 so so the motor itself uh, it's gonna be about 31.3 grams. Pretty good weight for a mid-budget motor and a 2207 at that. So uh, if you just use the simple cylinder volume formula, uh, the volume of a 2207 is slightly more than a 2306. So you know there's gonna be more material on the stator itself, uh, uh, copper wire and and steel on the lamination. So uh, so 31.3 is a pretty pretty good pretty decent weight uh, so now let's look at it up close let's see how let's see how well this thing is made all right so this motor is using one of those uh, pesky sir clips so once removed uh, the bell comes off pretty easily uh, there's the magnets as you can see these are arc magnets they are curved so that's gonna help uh, with uh, its performance the three millimeter shaft is just uh, pressed in and it does have a grub screw right there you don't see those that often anymore because most of the shafts, shafts are single piece these days but really nothing wrong with this uh, type of uh, construction uh, if it's 775 aluminum uh, usually the prop shaft is going to be strong enough and you know of course you have to be careful when you when you're tightening the night locks uh, you don't want to like cross thread it so uh, sometimes there's no need to really tighten those, those prop knots uh, you know uh, just enough so here's the stator as you can see as usual from brother hobby pretty uh, pretty high quality on their windings if you've seen the video of their factory Alex edit on YouTube has a really good video they show the uh, the machine they use it's 
pretty interesting to watch. Laminations look like they're 0.2 millimeters. Brother Hub is usually right on target with their specs. That's seven millimeters right there. Well, I mean, pretty pretty standard construction, pretty pretty well put together. So this motor should uh, should do pretty well, I think. Uh, uh, I, I know a lot of people are running this, and uh, I've seen it. I've seen lots of videos on YouTube, and they just absolutely love this this motor. Let's put it on the thrust stand, and let's see how it uh, performs. It's going to be interesting to see how it uh, compares to the 2306 motors, since those are the uh, the trend right now. Everybody's flocking to the 2306 bandwagon, so <laughs> let's see how these 2207s... I think 2207s have been kind of overlooked lately uh, with the 2306 and the 2407s that, are, that have come out recently. It uh, seems like all the manufacturers are putting all their air force into 2306 and 2408 motors, 2407. Kind of forgot about the 2207s. I think the 2207s are still pretty competitive motor. If if they start putting all the features that, you know, all the modern features, all the latest tech into the 2207s, this, I'd say this, this will probably do better than a 2306, I think. But anyway, uh, we'll compare it. Uh, put on the thrust stand and let's see how it does. Alright, so here we have the thrust test results for the Brother Hobby R3 2207 2550KV. The motor actually measure at uh, about 2585, so 2585KV. Slightly higher than the spec uh, KV, but that's pretty normal for most motors. We'll, we'll usually measure slightly higher or slightly lower than the spec uh, KV, so that's uh, nothing unusual there. So I went ahead and tested on 3S, 4S and 5S the usual props uh, starting with the GenFan 5045BN uh, so I understand a lot of people like running this prop uh, especially in racing because it doesn't it's not as floaty as the tri-blade props so pretty respectable uh, 1400, 1453 uh, grams at a very manageable 40 amps uh, remember, these amps are somewhat exaggerated because this is a uh, static thrust, so you pretty much have to multiply this by 0.65 and that'll give you the burst max uh, in flight. So that's still going to be a momentary burst max. So keep that in mind. That's how I report all the max thrust on my tests. Okay, so the next props are uh, the 5 inch uh, tri-blades. As you can see, it's pretty, motor's pretty much clearing 1500. 
and even uh, 1600 for the four blade and the uh, and the higher pitched uh, uh, five inch tri blades on 5s uh, pretty amazing uh, two kilograms on this motor so as we can see this 2207 format uh, it's kind of been overlooked lately because uh, of the 2306 craze uh, so it seems like the factories have kind of forgotten about the 2207s but in fact uh, if you just do a little bit of math uh, just a simple calculation if you calculate the sil simple cylinder volume uh, 2207 actually has the stators actually has larger volume than a 2306 so it should be in theory it should be a more capable motor than a 2306 in some respects but a lot of people are liking the 2306 apparently that one runs pretty smooth and uh, it's they're also pretty efficient 2207s are still in the fight so uh, i'd like to see more 2207s with the latest features uh, i'd like to see them released by the factories uh, so keep making them so on the more aggressive props uh, still clearing 1600 uh, pretty reasonable amps uh, i think uh, these are pretty much in line with other motors uh, for these thrust uh, numbers uh, yeah you know the, don't don't let this fool you this you know 50 amps and 49 amps you got to keep in mind this is i'm running static thrust uh, using a power supply the maintaining voltage at, at a pretty much 16 volts so so the motors you know the motors being static they just draw all this juice and this is just momentary it's the momentary max uh, but that's how i do all my tests so i just keep doing them like that so we can compare motor to motor six inch prop almost uh, didn't quite reach the two ki kilogram mark uh, but clear 1900 pretty easily and even on 3s uh, pretty respectable on six inch if somebody wants to run this on 3s uh, so an interesting comparison to make would be against a 2306 of the same kv and similar construction uh, so I don't have a brother hobby of the same KV uh, with 2306 uh, size, but uh, this one's the closest one. This one is the R5 2306 2650. So it's a slightly higher premium, uh, higher grade motor to go by the series. This is going to be interesting, but as you can see, this one is higher KV, but uh, it's pretty cool to see that the 2207 is holding its own and the uh, in some cases it's doing better than the 2306 so with the lighter props like this uh, 5043 by 3 and the gen fan uh, 5045 bn as you can see here the higher kv has the most influence so here we see the 2306 uh, ha having more thrust but only slightly higher thrust than the 2207 uh, as you can see they're pretty much identical actually to 1543 at uh, 43.8 amps versus 1549 at 44 amps so th that's virtually identical even though this one is uh, quite a lot lower almost about 100 kV lower but it's it's holding its own as we go up on the, on the prop uh, like the higher pitch more aggressive props we can see the 2207 is actually getting ahead of the 2306 and then we go on to the 5040 by 4 props uh, by the way these are the same props just kind of uh, mislabel here i put a dal but it's actually a dys 5040 by 4 uh, they're pretty much the same performance anyway so so keep that in mind these are same props so as we go on to the higher loads with the 5040 by 4 we can see the 2207 is getting ahead of the 2306 then going on to the 5050 slightly higher load even 2207 is still ahead by a little bit more then we go on to the 45 by 3 still the 2207 uh, it's ahead same thing with the cyclone uh, 5046 and then of course with the even larger prop the 6040 uh, we can see even more of a difference uh, 1842 versus 1915 so uh, roughly 60 65 grams uh, and then the uh, the amps are about the same actually about the same so we can see the 2207 uh, being fairly uh, efficient uh, the amps are increasing accordingly is uh, they're not getting exaggerated higher as you get more amps so uh, it's proportional you know the increase in thrust uh, and increase in amps is proportional 
So it's not like the amps are just getting higher and higher. Uh, so that's uh, that's pretty interesting to see. Uh, that's what I'm saying. These 2207s have kind of been forgotten, but as you can see, uh, they're pretty good performers. I know a lot of people still like them, so hopefully the factories will not uh, forget the 2207s. So let's uh, let's see some premium 2207s, you know, with all the bells and whistles. All right. So I uh, hope you like uh, this uh, video. Thanks for watching and uh, until the next video.